Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to The Restoration Couple. Today's video is going to be all about this stuff. Sawdust. Man glitter. But we've got far too much of it and we need to try and keep it all in one place. So this is how we're going to try and do it. Okay, so don't worry, we haven't been burgled, it's just a mess in here as usual. Uh, I'll have a bit of a square up before we start. But uh, essentially, everything centres around this chap here. Uh, my, actually, this was a Christmas present to me, um, which I kind of rec requested. But uh, this should change how things work in here. It's a dust cyclone, this one I found um, on Amazon. And basically, it, it is going to save our filters and stuff in our relatively small shop vac and we're going to utilize this big drum to actually take the bulk of the sawdust. Now I ordered this on eBay and there was not really much in the photo to give me an idea of scale and it, it's probably quite a bit bigger than we, what we need but uh, I'm sure it'll soon fill up when we're using the planer but this is just a sealed uh, you know gasket type lid on it which pops off so we're going to fit our cyclone on top of there there's a little um, rubber seal that comes with that fit it to there and then we can hopefully work out some of the hosing ducting from our shop back into it and then off to whatever we're using there's a bit of an adapter there i guess to take us from our vacuum hose into this Of course I dropped the fixings in the barrel. Right, I've just given it a bit of a wipe out because there's a bit of plastic got in there because all of the shavings will go out on the veg garden or in the chicken run so I don't really want to uh, send out anything that that's not going to be good for them. Likewise when I'm sanding if it's things like MDF then I'll probably uh, not go into here. Uh, if it's a very small amount of plywood or something, it might be different, but the bulk of it is going to come from the planer and it's shavings, and that's just from all of this rough sawn poplar. And that, that'll, that's just the volume. Um, that was what I was struggling with with the other vacuum. So, in reality, I should have got a drum about half the size of this. That way, I could have built a trolley. This could have sat on it. The shop vac could have sat underneath it or above it and be all on one sort of uh, system, whereas this is a bit of a standalone item. But I think this will probably end up living by the planer anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll set it up, give it a whirl, and see how it works. Hmm. So all of our chippings and sawdust and everything will come in from this side, from another hose, which I need to pinch off something else uh, until we get another one. It'll come in, it goes round the vortex, and then all the heavy stuff, or hopefully most of the stuff, will drop down into the bin below. So that's just from sanding all that pine when I was doing those jigsaw platters at Christmas. Uh, so you can imagine that it just clogs the stuff up and it, this doesn't work as well and the filters, it, although you can clean them off a bit you still end up getting through a few, quite a few of them a year so hopefully it's going to save us some money as well so I guess one thing we could do which I've seen someone else do on a video 
is we could actually empty what's in here already onto the floor and then suck it through the system and, system and see how much ends up in this and how much ends up in this to see if we can prove a point. But it is quite fine stuff, I don't really want to... Alright, we'll do it, we'll give it a go. Now the only other hose I've got is this one off the Ash Vacuum and it's pretty short but I think it's just about enough to reach the floor but it's not going to fit. Right, see if I can rig something up with a bit of packaging tape just for the test. All right. Commence test one. Right, it was pretty much full in here before. Let's see how much made it through. It's pretty good. Not that much, and actually a lot of that could have fallen off the filter as it was there. And of course this wasn't a clean filter, the best way to test it would have been to stick another one on there, but I must say I'm pretty impressed. I guess we can have a quick look in here. I mean, it's only gonna be sawdust, but I think I'm right in saying that this has to be air sealed, like this one is. You can't just have an empty bin below it. Yeah, so I don't know how it works, but it's all around the outside and then dropped to the bottom as well. So maybe it kind of creates a bit of a vortex in there. Anyway, I'm not sure the science behind it, but it, it works. So I think this is a little bit narrow and we're only temporarily using it today. When the other one of these arrives tomorrow, that should give it a little bit more effort. This blocks twice with some larger chunks of wood that were in it. But coming off the planer, nothing will be bigger than, you know, a, a pound coin, really. I'm gonna now really put it through its paces because I've got endless amounts of boards of uh, timber that I need to plane for the van project. And that just creates such a big volume of, of shavings that without a, a drum like this, it wouldn't be possible without getting a big mess on the floor. Now let's see how much sawdust we've gained. Quite a bit, I mean that's getting on for half a drum. Maybe it's a good thing we did get the big drum. Anyway, I'm gonna put this as a link down in the description box where we found it on Amazon. And of course, if you go through that affiliate link, it helps support this channel. Um, but otherwise, if someone's got a setup like this and you've got any other tips, let us know. But that's it, so remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.